Oh no! Get that thing away from me! Attack him with this thing. You know you don't know nothing about machinery. No, you don't have. To, <laughs> you're right. You don't have to worry. I don't think this thing would hurt anyone. I did. In fact, doubt. I was just running around. But this little, will. I was just running around with little Mike Carroll's beard a few <laughs> minutes ago, and, and it, oh yeah, I can't Today, believe it. It's back. The blender comes back. Is, oh, is this the one we've had so much trouble with? That is it. Of course, you know, we've had so much trouble with so many blenders down through the years. I'm surprised you and I have not put the blender people out of business. Well, it's the truth. With this program. We have had some terrible things happen with blenders. Well, I see you boiling water. Yeah, well, you know, that baby is <laughs> coming. <laughs> no, no, never mind. All right, Just let's get the even, witch in here. Don't go there. And she's already had her babies. Where oh, is she? She was flying. I know she's here. I think here, she's so, been oh, in the juice is. again. <laughs> <laughs> and there she goes. All right. Well, Good let's, catch, Andre. Andre is our official witch yes. catcher. Dear boys, do you ever get recipes that are just goofy? We've seen some you've done before that sounded awful, but were really good after you did them. Do you have any of those? Thanks. Irene Teeter of Totter, Texas. Teeter, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> so terrible. Well, As a matter of fact. This is your lucky day, it Irene. It certainly is. I'm going to do something called pinto bean cake. Oh. And it was sent in by Phyllis Dalton of Draper, Virginia. And I'm doing do-it-yourself sweetened condensed milk, I swear Why? it's the truth, Why? from Doris Connor Knopfs of Trenton, New Jersey. And the answer to it Are is... Are you doing anything today? And Doris is doing a flan. Oh, okay. But I got to tell you about this. I think I ran over one of those milk. on the way in uh, here no, today. No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, the thing is, this is de it's definitely cheaper to buy the sweetened condensed milk at the store. <laughs> definitely. Why would anyone How, make it from Well, scratch? I'll tell you. Suppose it's a snowy day and you're like Doris and you like to cook and you want to be, you know, really get into it and you've got a great recipe like the one she's doing today for this flan, but you don't have the sweetened condensed milk. This is a good way to do it if you don't have it. <laughs> okay, now I have a question All for right. you on why people do the things they yeah. do. What kind of person would start out with, I gotta make a cake to get today, what can I make it out of? <gasps> Pinto beans. <laughs> How do you get to that? I mean, what does that, what causes that? I would like to know. That's Goof the silliest thing I've ever. goofiness. Well, I gotta no. tell you something, but here's, here's something nice to know. While I was baking it, and I did have to make it in advance, uh -uh. It smelled like a cake, and it didn't smell like pinto beans. Oh, don't you think, that, don't you think that's <laughs> or encouraging? any product thereof? But I got to tell you, this will be the only cake we've ever made that gives you gas. <laughs> First thing I have to do right now, we could have gone all day without saying that, yes, but we, we weren't could. about to. First thing we got to do is I got to get started on this. All right, it takes go, forever. Go ahead, because mine is real short. I take and sweet. a half a cup of margarine and a cup of sugar, and I just have to uh, mix it all up real good with this horrible mixer and as you can see the butter should have been sitting out for about an hour and it isn't but it'll get there it's okay did I put some of that in your eye yes almost you did it's thank going goodness everywhere. I have uh, safety glasses on it says cream the sugar in the butter I don't think that's exactly a cream but it'll get there eventually you know our friends Joe and Ed, uh, the furniture to go guys, always wear their safety glasses. Well, that's why today, <laughs> for once, I am wearing uh, your own uh, apron. my own apron because uh, I don't normally do that. Now, having done that, you then need to add all the other ingredients. I'm going to throw them in here, and then we'll go to Laban for some exciting patter. Ah, well, oh, what are you looking for? I couldn't find your eggs. eggs. <laughs> Oh. Paper over here. Uh, this has so much stuff that it, it, it just takes up the entire lower 40, all of the oh. stuff. You put an egg in there, and then you put a teaspoon of soda in there. Half a teaspoon. Thank you, Doris. Doris is being very strict yes. well, about this today. She's watching it today. She is. You know, last week she was inattentive. Well, and look what she was, and she <laughs> messed us up real badly. A half a teaspoon of salt. Did someone get me some? Yep. yep. Behind it's milk. right. Behind the milk. Behind the milk. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having some problems today. There we go. And uh, half teaspoon of cloves. I'm going to get some of the stuff off. You know, when Larry has months. a recipe like this, I always think we ought to have the Pointer Sisters come in. And <laughs> because I'm, I'm jumping so around. excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just got to get this part down. And I just can't fight it. A teaspoon of cinnamon. <laughs> 
And I got this big one that I oh. found that Tootsie left me in her will. This is no joke. She left this to me, and this is what I got Prime to show. Prime and It must be about how old How now? much? Huh? A teaspoon. There we go. Oh, it it still smells relatively You're not good. bad, not it's bad. It's not bad for 20-year-old sentiment. Uh -huh. <laughs> and two cups of raw diced apples. I'll get to the apples and raisins in a couple of minutes. Right now, I'm just going to mix that in there, and then I'll start chopping some apples up, dicing them, and we'll throw raisins and other stuff in a minute. Laban? All right. Now, for this sweetened condensed milk, you need, and I'm going to... Put it into the blender, pray for us now. A stick of softened margarine. I guess you could use butter, but why do it? And now into that up. goes one cup of boiling fiery hot water. And here it is, folks. And I will, oh, it's going everywhere, but what else is new? All right. That cup has certainly been sanitized. Now you put your little top on it. Oh, wait a minute. We have to take this off so we don't have a mess. Now we're going to puree it. Woo! You done? Yep. Okay, now we have to make another mixture. This is going really fast. So I'll, I'll <laughs> we'll take, take your time. All right. Oh, well, oh, oh the well, little. No, I have lots of right. stuff to do. You don't all have right. to worry now, about it. This recipe. This is will... two cups of instant milk. You know, the kind that comes in a box. And let me see if I can get it in here right. So to make condensed milk, you have to at least have instant milk yes, on hand. Yes, you, you got to have powdered milk. Uh, there's just something about that that's just a little. <laughs> I'm sorry. And now, two Who cups, has that around? Two cups of sugar. Sounds like Andre's picked up right bad cold. You know, I saw him in the grocery store the other day, and he was just wheezing and carrying Oh, I think he's terrible. sneaking cigarettes again. Oh, no. Bless his heart. Now, you have to stir all of this up get him in, trouble in your cup, and then we're going to put it into this other mixture. So while I'm... Well, I, yeah, I need to do some stuff. All right, well, go ahead and do it. Could you I'm have stirring. gotten a bigger uh, measuring cup? No, no, no. You've got to have a big one. Jolly right? Green Giants right. measure, measuring cup. All right, next thing you got to do on this recipe is you have to prepare two cups of pinto beans. <laughs> it's true, and there they are. Unseasoned. I'm going to put them unseasoned, and it's very, very important. Yeah, if you fix them from, from scratch, you do them in just plain old water, unseasoned. Mm -hmm. If you're going to take the lazy way out like uh -huh. I did and you go out and buy canned ones, make sure you don't get the ones that are seasoned with ham because you will have the first ham tasting cake in history. <laughs> <laughs> or fat back. Just the very, fat back. Or fat back. Yeah, oh, even worse. So I got, just, flat, flat <laughs> I got just plain ones. And make sure that you reserve just a little bit of the pinto juice soup <laughs> because that goes in your icing. <laughs> <laughs> now make sure you mix these. Am I turning red? Now make sure that you wash these things off real good. And what I'm going to do individually, now individually, individually, each, each bean, bean has to be personally uh, showered and, and, and <laughs> bathed and toweled <laughs> off. And then the next thing you start doing is mashing them up. And please make sure that you pay careful attention to mashing them because I don't think there's anything ruder, ladies and gentlemen, than eating a piece of cake and having a whole bean <laughs> in your cake. Well, I don't know. So How make about sure whole grain bread. So just make sure that you uh, mash those up and they're going to go in our mixture in a couple minutes. Two cups worth. Okay, Laban. All right. Now, as this thing... Dreadful. All right, Perfectly now. dreadful. Woo! Ah! Now it's on again. All right. Now I'm adding the milk and the sugar. In this farm, we can't hear a thing. Laban, you can be glad you're not doing this recipe. It wears your arm out. Oh. I never knew that, that mashing pinto beans could be oh, so no, difficult. Oh, no, this thing is fluffed up on me real bad. <laughs> well, Larry, you. <laughs> oh, now it's, now there we go.
Are you done yet? Almost. Actually, I'm not, but I'm going to stop so that you have a, a choice uh, or a chance to go there. And I'm scraping the sides down, so you go ahead and, and we'll come back over here in a minute. Okay, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't this look good? Mmm. Mm, look at it dripping out there. Two cups of, well, uh -huh. well, I shouldn't have done it in a colony. I was too lazy to transfer it. So anyway, it's two cups of smashed beans <laughs> go into this. <laughs> yes, at this time. Well, you I'll would be you, surprised. My flesh is crawling up and down my back. It's doing circus well, tricks. Johnson <laughs> hates beans anyway, so I can't imagine he's going to like this cake, but that's all right. So now you put that in the mixture. And you would be surprised how how much like a cake this starts looking once you add your uh, Oh, it looks flour. like some kind of Mexican dip. Well, it, right now it really does look like a Mexican dip. I believe I wish I'd brought the tortilla chips. At this point you add, uh, what is it, a cup of self-rising flour. And put that in there. A cup of self-rising flour goes in there. That's fairly close. Lousy, that's a... Thick sure, mixture. Anyway. Well, it is. I'm afraid this poor little pathetic thing won't be able to keep up to it, but we'll try. Well, it's doing. It'll it'll do all right. Well, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice it changed speed oh, several uh, times? Well, I think it's nice to have that automatic speed in it there. And you got to mix that in there real good. I love good. to see you do that with a wooden spoon <laughs> like they did in the old days. <laughs> Well, this is not the old days. Tell All me right, about there it. There we go. Doris, I need for you to do something for me. I need for you. If this thing ever works again, I wouldn't care. Wash this off. Now, what you have to do is add your raisins, a cup of raisins, And, oh, I gotta, I gotta chop up two apples, and I've got, what are these, Granny Smiths? Yes, I believe they are. And we're also gonna add some uh, nuts to this at this point. Nuts? Nuts. Just a few. Well, that thing doesn't sound right. <laughs> this sounds like a wah-wah pedal on that thing. Never seen nothing like it. So, and, and we also have to chop up some uh, apples at this point, and I'm gonna do that. And see, now, now doesn't that start looking like, now admit this, this does look like some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, cake batter, cake batter mm -hmm. doesn't it? It does. It does. Now I've got to chop some apples. So uh, I'll go and do that. It's about to wear me out, this recipe. And I'll just quick chop a few apples. Johnson? All right, well, my, uh you really have to let this thing blend for a while to make sure everything gets dissolved. Oh, please don't blend it in. <laughs> no, all right, all right. <laughs> it just doesn't sound. Now, it's finished, but it's still warm. Tastes good, but it's warm, and you probably wouldn't want to use it that way. So, in our refrigerator. Oh, good. And Doris, uh, how about getting us a couple of spoons so that I can make Larry taste some of this right now? Oh, do I have to, Uh-huh, uh -huh, you do. Well, you know, I have a, what do they call it when you have a reaction to? Uh, 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 allergic reaction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Laban. Uh, yeah, I needed that. All right. Now, what's that stuff when you can't drink milk? What's that called? Oh, lactose. Lactose intolerance, I believe. Well, I think this dried milk is... Uh, Do what? I think it is uh, okay for that purpose. It looks mighty thick. Well, you wouldn't normally oh, eat like something that. like that. Mm. Mm. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes just like sweetened condensed milk. It really it? does. Ah! It's not bad, really. Did you taste it? It's just real yeah, sweet. Let Doris taste no, it. It's taste. just real sweet and syrupy. Well, yeah, you notice Laban's Well, not, I think Doris Laban's ought to taste it because she's the one that needs it for her recipe. Well, you're right. It's, it it's tastes pretty just good. like sweet milk. Okay, I've got to add the apples now, little chopped apples. Chop them up real fine and add that to the mixture. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the batter portion of the program. Is and there a gooder one? <laughs> <laughs> for better or worse. <laughs> 
<laughs> whatever. Now the next thing you have to do is you have to turn it into a tube pan. Uh, and what I do is just real quick take a little vegetable spray. And by the way, it doesn't say this, but you'd better, <laughs> you had better use a little flour on this or you'll never get it out of that tube pan. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna dust it lightly. Almost lost it. There you go. Now, turn that into a tube pan. Your oven will be at 350 degrees for one hour. Ooh. And it does look like a, a reasonable facsimile of a cake of some kind. Though I still cannot to save me figure out why in heaven's name you would want to start out with pinto beans on anything that's a dessert. But you know, this probably was, don't you reckon some pinto bean farmer's daughter came up with this? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the oven at 350 degrees for one hour. Now the next thing I gotta do, if you thought that was bad, is uh, Doris, why don't you come in and show your thing while I do, uh, change around because I gotta get a couple of things done here. Then I'll do the, uh, I have to do the icing that goes on top. Oh, That's isn't good. that pretty? It turned out pretty good. Uh, I had to do a flan and it was sent in from by David Seneca of Washington Crossing, Pennsylvania. And it takes a fourth a cup of sugar and one of one 14 ounce can of condensed milk, five, uh, one whole cup of uh, whole milk, five egg yolks, do mm. not use the whites. Yeah, this is, this is too much for you. Yeah, excuse and then me, one, And then one whole egg, a teaspoon of vanilla, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt. And what you have to do is take your sugar and caramelize it, and that's tricky. You know? And how do you do it? <laughs> I put, put it in a pan and keep stirring it until it melts, and you oh. have to be real, real uh, careful of it. Now, I looked up a recipe. It doesn't call for water, but I call, uh, I put a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of, well, it's hard to turn late even, too. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Doris, if you're going to be on television, that's, that's a television know, camera. It's, that's okay. All right. Uh, I'm, you're I'm, right. <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, I, I put the sugar in, let it caramelize, and put a little bit of water in it uh, so that it, it wouldn't stick so hard to the container. And now my container was cold the first time I did it. And I think I did it one pan, transferred it. Make sure the container you put it in is warm because that keeps it from getting mm -hmm. like candy on the bottom of it. And then you bake it in, the, in an oven for an hour in another container with water in it. And it turned out, it's very good. We had it the other night and we really enjoyed it. it was, it's, it's a good Well, dessert. great, looks good. Mm -hmm. Well, Larry, while, while you're trying to do that, let me give my recipe real quick. All you need is a cup of boiling hot water, a stick of butter or margarine, two cups of instant milk, and two cups of sugar, and you mix them all together, and you have instant sweetened condensed milk. And Larry's recipe is so complicated and long, <laughs> you want me to give it? Please all give right. my recipe His while I find everything. His pinto bean here. cake has one half cup of margarine, one cup of sugar, it. two cups of unseasoned pinto beans drained and crushed, one egg, a, uh, a half teaspoon of soda, a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of cloves, a teaspoon of cinnamon, two cups, not one, but two cups of raw diced apples, one cup of raisins, one half cup of nuts, like black walnuts, one cup of self-rising flour, and the icing has a pound, oh my goodness, of confectioner's sugar, two tablespoons of milk or more, one tablespoon of bean juice, uh, one tablespoon of vanilla, and one half cup of margarine. Okay, speaking of the icing, here we go. This is the icing that goes on top of, by the way, when it comes out of the oven, it really does look like a cake. <laughs> That's the first thing you must know. It worked, and there it is. Looks just like a cake. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to take, well, this is for the icing part, we have to start creaming some more margarine and adding to it. This is a wonderful mess. All right, now let me add just a little bit of milk to this mixture. Oh, you have to add, this is the gross part, a tablespoon spoon of bean Steam. soup. That's the stuff that the beans done. Oh, oh. <laughs> it just hurts me to look at it. Add uh, two tablespoons of milk or more. That's Milk or more. Two. Sounds like a right. supermarket. And now hopefully add a little vanilla goes in there also. 
That's 2% milk I'm using to take care of Mr. Johnson's heart, although recently they've said that. All right. Let's. And this is going to be your icing, and you'll just make it as thick or as thin as you want it to be. I'm going to make it thin so I can sort of drizzle it over the top. Uh-huh. I still have to oh, work okay. a little bit more of this in there, and I hope I don't get that bag caught in there. Wouldn't that be awful? Oh. I'm going to add just a little more milk. To it. I'm going to add just a little more milk to that. There we go. Just to thin it out a little bit. Well, you know, it's it's an attractive kind of icing. It's real thick. Like everything else in this Do you want me to hold is. the bowl? No. That's all right. All right. <sighs> it really is. Now, if I just had something to put it on there with, oh, I think I'll just use this spoon. And, and you can just dollop this stuff on there however you want to. Isn't that attractive? It is. It's real pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so lovely. And I'm just going to put it across the top. Poor old Martha it. Stewart is rolling in her grave. <laughs> she's not even dead yet. But she, uh, she's she'll want to be by the time she gets finished watching that. That's real pretty. Now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm running out of time and I'm tired. I'm sweating like a pig. Oh, no. What a rude thing to say. Well, Sweat wait a minute. Like a pig. Where's our uh, great big huge? Uh, what? Uh, here it is. What's, What's this? Oh, a little hot cider here today. I think it's uh, hard. Is, is this sub that, uh, I think that Doris Harold said. ran up over the weekend? Well, I'm trying to. Mm. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> well, Johnson, how terrible. There, it was a big spoon that you could have done this with. Well, look at this piece. He's of... picking the flan I'll out of the. Put it over here. Tablecloth, ladies and gentlemen. Well, while he's doing that, let me just give you a big old slab of pen for me. <laughs> you know, I'm just so excited. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I just don't oh it looks all. Oh, no, those are walnuts. Oh, those okay. are not I beans. Thought they you know, I don't like He got all excited. Song. He thought he saw a whole pinto beans in the cake, and he didn't because I mushed them all up real good. Those are apples and walnuts in there, is what they are. Well, I'm just such a mess that I just don't even think I'll get through this. <sighs> Maybe, let me get some have, of that. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I have to settle for a couple of minutes. I am just completely worn out. You know, I'm just too old to do a cooking show anymore. <sighs> what, how, what do you think of it? It's real good. It is. Did you hear that? The pinto bean cake is real good. You can hardly tell there's beans. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to hear it. Like, you can hardly tell. It tastes like a fruit cake. It does. Better than that. It's and this good. is one of the few flans that are flans that I've ever liked. I refuse to get them at Italian restaurants because I say they're just big rubbery things with syrup on it. But this one is very nice. Did you do this? Or did Harold mm. do it? <laughs> Snarled. <laughs> mm. Well, I haven't tried the pinto bean cake myself. Well, go ahead and try it. But stay away from me. <laughs> That's a great cake. It is. Ooh. Yes, and that cider is real good. Why well, not? It's right tart, don't mm. you think? No, I think that it is the fruit of the grape in here instead of cider. Uh huh. Doris it's is. It's malt wine. Mold. A mold. Means wine. she put a hot poker in it. That's <laughs> the way they used to A lot of people it. said they want to do that to us on occasion, but anyway. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this would be perfect any time you wanted to make it. It would be great for a holiday. Our pinto bean cake? Mm hmm. Let me tell you something. If I'm going to serve this at home, I'm going to tell you, I would never tell anybody no. until after the fact what they were eating. Why bother? I mean, why distress all it's your like guests? That. Yeah. I mean, well, suppose you're coming through the door and you say, hi, I have something special for you tonight, mm -hmm. pinto bean cake. Do you think anyone's going to eat that? Well, I'd just keep it a they secret. might. Well, it would come out eventually. <laughs> 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 oh, I'll drink to that. Yes, yeah, so will I. And oh. uh, here's to uh, your health. Cheers. 
And here's to a quick countdown. Uh, <laughs> it reminds you. me of that pinto bean pie we did that time. That's right. We yeah. did do one of those. And, you know, I, everyone that I've told I was going to do this has heard of pinto bean pie, but mm -hmm. no one had ever heard of pinto bean cake. Well, they have now. And I still really just wonder this why. This flan is really good, but it's an artery clogger. It really it. is. You can just hear those corpuscles slamming shut. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Well, hey. We'll, we'll see you next time. More fun than a barrel of monkeys. Ah. We'll see you around, folks. Bye.